In this how-to lesson, I'm going to talk to you about contour cutting. There are three types of cutters supported. Laser pointer cutters, automatic registration mark sensing, or arms cutters, along with large format printer cutters. The large format printer cutters are handled by the RIP, so please watch that lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at the contour cutting wizard. So we click on this link here, and that brings up our contour cutting wizard. On the right-hand side, we see a preview of what we wish to contour cut. And in this section here, we have to decide what printing device we're going to use. In this case, we're just going to send this print file, or this job here, to our desktop printer. Uh, and then we will uh, contour cut it with our uh, laser pointer cutter, because we'll start off with laser pointer cutters. You can set some properties here for your printer, like portrait, landscape, any of your settings that you wish to use. And uh, the next thing to choose is your vinyl cutter. In this case, we're going to use this P-cut here, which has got a laser pointer on it and we'll use that laser pointer to find these marks and put a contour cut around this particular artwork. We have other options like um, a name for the job that we wish to uh, call it. We can set some padding. We can clip to the page, which I'll show you here. We can add a weed box. This is how clip to page works. And then we can set the quantities that we might want. We might want, say, four of these to be printed and then cut. And we can set the padding around the actual objects themselves. So step one is to build the contours themselves. So what we need to do is use the tracing module, because this is an image, to build our contour cut line. So when we do that, an image automatically is detected, and we click Yes. The vectorizer comes along and it traces the artwork, as you can see, and it puts this contour cut line around our artwork. I like to work in relative, and we can choose the uh, the offset. I like to use a percentage. We'll just make this a nice tight fit here, like so. Once we're happy, we click Accept. And in the preview, we can now see the contour cut lines which have been created. So these are what our cutter will cut. This is what our printer will print. And we can see them together. So the next stage is to send this to the printer, the actual printed uh, part of the job, to our Epson printer. So we're going to print this artwork. So what we do here is we click Print, like so. And our printer will start printing this particular artwork out. Once the artwork's been printed, the next job is to load it into our vinyl cutter and just position it roughly how we want it to be. Then we make sure that we've selected the correct uh, vinyl cutter, just double check that. And the next stage is to then cut this artwork out. So this is step three, we've got to cut the contours. We click cut here, and the align cut fold wizard will come up as you can see here. Now we may need to rotate the artwork based on how it's been put into the vinyl cutter, and that's pretty obvious what you need to do there. What you see in the preview needs to match what's actually loaded into the cutter. So once you've decided that uh, what rotation you've got, you select that. Over here you can set offsets. Now laser cutters have an offset and the wizard will know what your offset is usually by default but not always. Sometimes you'll need to uh, calibrate that. That's handled in another lesson and the help file and you can go off and have a look at how to do that. It's very, very simple. So once we're ready, we click Next. So the next stage is to position the cutter head over the registration marks which have been printed on the artwork with your laser pointer itself. So the red dot needs to actually line up exactly with the registration marks. Get yourself a um, magnifying glass and uh, make sure that you get it as accurately as possible. You use these arrows on the left hand side here and they will move the cutter head. The times 10 is uh, very large movements and if they're too big uh, change it to fine and it will just move the cutter head ever so slightly. And you need to get the laser dot directly over the registration mark. When you think you're done, you can cut a test mark. And that will show you where the, the blade is actually cutting. So you click Next. We need to do this for this mark here. Same thing all over again. We need to align the cutter head with that registration mark using the arrows. Change it to fine if you need to. And click a uh, cut test mark if you want to double check. So once you've done that, you click Next again. As so, and we're now going to line up this mark. And again, the same thing. We move the cutter head around until the laser dot is perfectly over the registration mark. We click Next. If we check alignment up here, that will go through and just cut a little notch at each point, which will then also verify that the whole thing's been lined up correctly. 
once you, you're used to this, you, you won't have to do that very often, but just the first couple of times, just so you understand where it's got to go, um, you'll pick that up and uh, become quite proficient at it. So we click cut now and as you can see it loads straight into the spooler ready to start cutting. We click um, yes here and the artwork will be cut uh, in the position it was designed in and the job's done. So once we've done that we click done and that's completed. So now you know how to use a laser pointer cutter. I'll show you how you use an arms cutter. Again we need to load the artwork directly into the uh, contour cutting wizard so we click on this drop down here as so and again it's the same thing again we need to uh, select the, the printer that we wish to print with um, we'll just choose that, uh, that Epson again I think and this time we need to change the vinyl cutter so this GX300 has auto detect marks now you can see these here in the uh, preview they're quite, uh, quite large and the marks are actually picked up by the cutter itself so the advantage with that of course is that uh, it'll automatically align itself so this is a very quick way of doing uh, contour cutting so again we need to build the contours uh, same thing as last time we run this through we won't worry about sending the actual offset this time we'll just accept it as it is and we're ready to cut this job out okay so we now well firstly we need to print the artwork so we do that first so we print and our printer off it goes printing the job out once it's printed we then load it straight back into our arms cutter in this case the GX300 from Roland uh, and we just position that into the vinyl cutter as any normal cut job and we now send that to the uh, to the cutter and we need to just position the way we've well rotate it to the same position that we've actually put it into the cutter and we're ready to cut it click cut now and it's ready to go you proceed with cutting and uh, you click yes and your arms cutter will go off and look for those marks and it will do the job. It will actually cut out the, uh, the artwork as you've designed it and click done and that job's done. Just before I finish this lesson I just want to quickly show you about how to send this as a PDF file because quite often you just want to create a PDF file and print it somewhere else. I mean it could be any number of reasons why you'd want to do that or give the artwork to someone else. So we just load it up as we've done before. We've all seen this before. Click accept and the artworks ready to go but this time we're going to send it as a PDF file so we click save to PDF and we give it a name in this case contour cutting one's fine click OK and you can see it creates a PDF file and it's got the marks ready to go and you'll send that off to your uh, to your printer and print that out and then bring it back to cut it later on so that's how we create a PDF file um, and load the artwork back in once it's printed and cut it out. So that's how you set up a, uh, a contour cut job for a um, laser pointer cutter or an arms cutter. As mentioned before if you want to use a printer cutter you've got to go through the rip. There's a whole lesson on that. I've shown you how to create a PDF file and that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.